In the world's top universities, hidden genius cleaner, the problem that has plagued the entire mathematics department and many professors for two years, he solved the answer with the time he spent mopping the floor. However, what is even more incredible is that, he didn't go to school systematically at all. His name is George and he was born in a slum. He comes here every morning to clean up. One day, he happened to see a math problem on the blackboard in the corridor. George thought for a moment, so he put down his tools and started to solve the problem. The next day, the professor came to the blackboard in a miraculous way. After he saw the the perfect answer above. He was stunned, because this is not an ordinary math problem. Those who have solved this problem before have finally become big figures in the mathematics world. Even the professor himself took two months to figure it out. Now it's been answered overnight, and this guy never showed up. So the professor challenged the mysterious genius again. He asked a more difficult question. And there is a problem on the board right now. That took us more than two years to prove. However, at this time, George, fighting and attacking the police. He was just released from the police station. Genius and thugs are reflected in him at the same time. George goes back to school. Seeing the title on the blackboard, he couldn't help but write it again. I happened to be seen by the professor who just got off work. The professor was very angry and immediately stepped forward to scold. You are a cleaner, what are you doing there? George didn't want to talk nonsense with the professor, he turned and Fuck you! The professor just wanted to chase, but was called back by the teaching assistant. Looking at the crooked writing on the blackboard, he was completely dumbfounded. This question has plagued the mathematics department for two years. In this way, it was released by the school cleaners. George is not only good at mathematics, but also has a super memory. All the books are printed directly in the head once read. Good buddy Henry was humiliated by Harvard's top students when he was picking up girls. George stepped forward. Profound economic knowledge came out of his mouth choking the other person speechless. You dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar fifty in late charges at the public library. George's all-round dimensionality reduction attack successfully attracted the attention of the beauty. Before leaving, she took the initiative to leave her mobile phone number.